Hello everybody. Hope you're doing good. I got a uh, DDEC5 EUI here. The DDEC4 EUI, there was a lot of interest in it. You know, I disassembled it and reassembled it. So, we're going to do the same thing to this one here. First step is getting this little piece right here out of there. Had a slight change of plans. Uh, we're going to take this section off first. And uh, this right here is the fuel inlet. This is the fuel outlet. So let's finish unscrewing this body. And oh uh, man, I got a fuel leak. There's the pieces down in there. There's the nozzle. Oh no, how does it go back? It's pretty easy to go in there. This here goes on the other side. Actually, it goes right there. Like that. And then the nozzle, which is down in there. It doesn't want to come off because this copper washer stuck on there right now. Let me get it off her. Okay, now we have an empty barrel. The o rings and all that good jazz. We have a little spacer, check valve, spring. And this is the sub assembly that the spring and stuff goes into. The injector nozzle tip and then the needle which is right here and there's no way in the world i can get you a picture of those of the injector tip holes there's the bottom of the eup and there's a roll pin in here we can take this part which I'm not going to do that I don't think I'm going to be able to get the plunger off there so but basically that's all there is to it man pretty neat found that another section comes out of this barrel assembly pretty neat there's the poppet valve right there man the poppet valve and there's the wires to the solenoid right there it's pretty cool man of course that all goes over here That plunger seems to be seized up. It's got old fuel in there. I can smell it. I still would like to get that thing out of there, man. Let's take a look at it. Still working on trying to get the barrel assembly removed from the body. It's pretty neat. There's an O-ring. Holds this. Holds this little spacer. Which, this is where your button kit rides on and pushes the plunger up and down. And uh, the O-ring goes around this and is held in by that groove on top of the plunger. So, and then there's another little lock that goes around it. So now I need to get that out of there, man. C-clip's removed now. Which goes in on top of the plunger. And the plunger should just lift right on up out of there. There's the body. And uh, right in here. It's like a, a pin. 
right there. Then 180 degrees. There's another pin right there, which rides up and down that groove right there, which I couldn't pull those. Looks like you need a special wedge tool or something to get up underneath there to push those pins out. But basically, it's stripped down now. And we revealed the plunger assembly right there, man. If I remember correctly, at the injector tip, it's about 40,000 PSI injection pressure. 40, 43,000, something like that. Best I remember. So, with that being said, I believe this video has come to an end, man. So, thanks for watching, and God bless, and y'all have a good one, man. Oh, oh, one last look at all the parts. Bosch injector, EUI. And there's the, the pin that holds the electrical connection in. And the two tabs where the electricity goes in. From here, pop the valves underneath there to lift it up off the seat. And it takes, man, what was it? Six volts, 10 amps to fire the injector. That was back when on the 149s. And I'm pretty sure this is about the same way. Six volts. 10 amps to fire the injector or to lift the plunger i mean lift the uh, pop -it valve off its seat so thanks for watching the video and god bless oh what the heck let's uh, do a video of throwing her back together man here's our two electrical probes it goes right down in there Like so. See, I have to get these pins, these dowels, locating pins to line up at the same time. I'm trying to put this on camera and do it at the same time, which is kind of hard. Okay, she's in there. I heard it pop or click. Okay, now I need to put this section on. And being that little small hole right there is open, I'm just going to say it goes. See that hole lines up with right here, which is going to line up with the injector tip. I don't know if I got it right or not. I don't really care as a core anyway. There's a spring in there. Put our check valve in. Stall it. Install our spacer on there. And then we got our needle that we got installed in there. And uh, slightest little dirt's going to lock everything down on this thing, man. That's why you gotta need a clean environment. So if I was you, I would recommend not doing this at all. Okay, she's in there. Now we got to line up our tip with the check valve assembly. No, I said I done wrong. Okay, there's that. So, 
Figure that is correct, so our fuel can come back out. And then we got a tube assembly, which is gonna throw right down on top there like that. Okay, hang on one second. Okay, just gonna snug it up. Looks mm, pretty close. I don't think there's anything misaligned. And then the plunger will drop right down in there. That our C clip. I need to do a lot, do like what one of my friends, Starpa, said. I need to get me a camera holder. Now that's in there. Then all we gotta do is throw the O-ring around that and cap it off, and that completes this segment, man. It's pretty cool. Looking EUI, man. So, thanks for watching again, and God bless. Oh, just for comparison, there's a 149 MUI unit injector. It's a 195 mil gun, and you can get it all the way up to 300 mil. You can get a 300 mil injector on a 149, and uh, this one here dropped a valve. You know, the tip's gone. So, it's gone. And maybe later on, I'll do a teardown video of this. And I want to show you all a little secret. Inside this little port window, whenever you have the injector in full fuel like that, you should be able to see a flat spot in there. And if you can't see the flat spot, it's miscalibrated. And also on 149, there's a fuel stop on the rack right here, which you do not mess with at all. That's calibrated from the factory to limit the full fuel travel. But it's got, you know, the, the 195. It goes all the way down to, you can get a 120 mil injector, all the way up to a one, I mean to a 300. The helix is different inside of them. Plus the fuel output is different too between them. Injector tips are different for different flow rates. And uh, the uh, EUI 149 injector looks basically like this. Except it's, it's wider right here. And then it has O-ring jumper lines that attach to it. But maybe later on we can do a disassembly of this. Catch you later, man.